Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Angela Tinazzi, and welcome to my presentation at SAS Global Forum 2021. The title of my presentation is How SAS 9.x Reached Your SAS Program Alive. I am a senior director at CITEL at Global Zero, where I'm leading a, a group of clinical data standard specialists uh, as a part of a statistical programming group. Uh, here are some key facts about myself. I'm Italian, born in Milan, and just a little bit uh, above 50 years old. Uh, I work in Geneva, Switzerland, and I have about 25 years of experience working for a number of organizations, mainly in uh, clinical research in uh, both industry, zero, and academic institution. I live in France with my family, uh, just on the other side of the border, on the other side of the Swiss border, which I cross every day by bike to go to work. I have a passion for uh, clinical data standard, and I always like to contribute to industry initiatives such as uh, CDISC uh, and present and share my experience in public. And I have done this a number of times at different pharma industry uh, technical conferences such as uh, FUSE. I've been using SAS uh, since the start of my career in uh, my everyday work to uh, retrieve, transform, and analyze clinical trial data. And it is really my pleasure today to present again after several years at um, uh, SAS conference. Uh, here in this picture, it's me uh, in Madrid, in Spain, in, uh, actually, a long time ago, in 1997, where I have presented a topic uh, around the uh, uh, SAS macro. At, at, at CG, that was CG, uh, so the former SAS uh, European User Group Conference. You can, you can actually still find the paper at the, at the address here reported in this slide. I started with uh, SAS version 5 in a, a VMS operating system in early 90 in a pharmacological research institute in my hometown, Milan, Italy, uh, when I started as a young, um, a young uh, uh, epidemiologist. Uh, since then, SAS has evolved a lot, and now it is not anymore uh, simply a statistical software system. Uh, not only we have a new industry-specific uh, solution, and, uh, and SAS now comes uh, with uh, uh, different configuration, but also the core of SAS, its uh, SAS-based language, has improved a lot. In particular, uh, in SAS 9, uh, the longest-running version that was uh, first released in 2002, uh, has introduced several uh, language enrichments. So, uh, the aim of this presentation, so with this presentation, I'd like to go through some of these enrichments SAS programmer might, be, uh, might have missed. And the emphasis will be mainly on, uh, on changes or addition that made, uh, in my opinion, uh, my and every SAS programmer life a better and happier programmer life. This is the agenda with a summary of topics I would like to cover today, starting with a brief history of SAS and its evolution. Then I will provide some example of what are, in my opinion, uh, good programming language improvements occur in SAS uh, 9. Before covering the items in my agenda, I would also like to introduce my personal assistant, uh, librarian Penguin. Uh, it will be there with me proposing further reading to elaborate on the topic I will present. And uh, the full list of references I've, I've, I've also used will be summarized in a final slide. So, before discussing such improvements introduced with SAS 9, let me do a bit of a SAS history lesson. As most of you are aware, the first SAS version was released about 50 years ago. And since then, uh, what was a called statistical analysis system became an analytical analytics uh, platform uh, supporting a wide range of, um, of, of business. Among the version I had the pleasure to use, I like to mention uh, the availability of SAS on, uh, on Windows platform in early 90, the availability of uh, the output delivery system, the so-called ODS in SAS 8, making a big jump, jump on reporting uh, features. The first SAS 9 was released in uh, uh, 2002, making SAS 9 uh, now the longest running version. With the latest version released in uh, 2013, the SAS 9.4, that I guess most of us are using. With maintenance uh, man, uh, M7 being the latest technical maintenance release uh, last August. Myself, as I, start, as I said before, I started a while ago on VMS operating system, where I did learn SAS uh, version uh, 5. 
Uh, also to note, starting with version 9.3, uh, SAS started to also version the SAS stat module. I'm not going to cover uh, um, I'm not going to cover the SAS programming uh, cloud revolution introduced by SAS via. As I thought today, I'm not yet a SAS via uh, user. I believe if not all companies, uh, if not all, most of the company are now running at least SAS 9.4, probably on different methods. Uh, if not, the following graph could uh, help you understand it, how old and eventually how obsolete is the SAS version you are currently uh, using. At Cite, for example, we are using the second last release SAS 9.4 maintenance number six. Let's have now a quick look at uh, some of my preferred enhancements. One of the things I like more when uh, a new SAS version are released is the availability of new function that can help make uh, more efficient the programs. Things that maybe before you were doing by developing either your own macros or by combining several functions and statements to get the desired outcome, they become very often the new releases uh, a function, for example. The example I like more is the, the median function that surprisingly was not available until, uh, until SAS 9. So new character function, search and compare character string, in addition to concatenating character, st character string, have been added. Or new functions that were usually available in other languages uh, or procedure like the college in SQL, or the entire family of the V function. Or well, you have now a set of functions where you can better search for a uh, text pattern, including counting occurrences, uh, for example, with the uh, count function. I won't provide example of all functions with my presentation, but just to give you an idea, let's look at least uh, a couple of, of them. Uh, our programmers still are still using uh, trim or left function uh, for concatenity strings. Uh, there is nothing wrong with it, of course, but the code may be quite difficult to read when you need to concatenate uh, several strings or variables. And now with SAS9, with the family of cat function, in particular with the catx function, not only you can shorten the code as shown here in this example, but you can actually automatically eliminate uh, redundant uh, delimiters. Also, numeric variables are automatically converted to a string using the best format without a note in the log. The V function allows the programmer to query uh, variables attributes within uh, the data step without having to R code the information or without having to do uh, a preliminary step to incorporate data, for example, from uh, proc contents. In the example uh, in uh, this slide, uh, assume you have some variable with uh, an assigned user format to denote the meaning of numeric code. So you can automatically create, using an array, a set of variables containing the, the, the code version by dynamically querying the, the format attribute uh, using the vformat function. The, fun the following is just uh, a shorter version using another uh, v function, the v value. Uh, that return the value of a variable as per uh, the associated format. Uh, another nice feature uh, with the SAS function, which I think it has been also added in SAS 9, is the ability of using the so-called uh, function modifier as an additional argument to modify the normal behavior of the SAS function. It is the case, for example, of the compress function, a uh, function that was historically used to remove all uh, spaces from a string. The function now not only accepts a second argument where you can specify the list of characters you want to remove or compress, but you can, uh, through the third argument, the modifier, specify an entire set of family of characters to, to remove. In this slide, for example, the P in the compress function so the P modifier will remove all punctuation from the uh, specified string, as you can see uh, in this uh, in the log from running this uh, uh, this uh, this little code. 
Among new syntax features added in SAS 9, I like a number of, uh, let me call uh, shortcuts. Added, for example, for the uh, set command in uh, SAS uh, version 9.2. Um, and and I like, uh, like the use of columns as a wildcard to set all data set uh, starting with the same prefix, as in this example, setting in just one shot all supplemental qualifier data sets, all, all data set uh, having uh, in their name a prefix uh, sub. Or a range of data sets, so all data set starting uh, with uh, the LB prefix uh, from 1 to 50. The in Boolean operator now also hollow some shortcuts, uh, some sort of shortcuts, such as the specification of a range of value. And last but not least, the availability of new formats and in formats to support ISO 8601 uh, for date and time format uh, support, for example, uh, CDs SDM conversion. This format and in formats were added only starting with SAS version 9.2. In uh, SAS 9, and specifically with uh, SAS 9.1, the use of hash objects was made also available. Uh, this is actually a great feature uh, for lookup facility, especially when you have to deal with a big data set, as the hash objects uh, represent the first in-memory data structure accessible from uh, directly from a data set. For example, here I did a test to compare the use of hash objects against two traditional alternatives in SAS to search and extract from a large data set. So a large data set with, for example, let's say 20 millions of records. From this simple test, you can see how faster are the hash objects compared, for example, to an SQL or to the traditional uh, merge. The pair regular expression were also added in SAS 9, although a very similar SAS regular expression were available in earlier uh, version. Uh, this is a, a very powerful technique for advanced uh, uh, string pattern search and unstructured data analysis. Many of these strings uh, processing tasks can be performed with the traditional uh, character function, but pair regular expression provides a more compact uh, solution. For example, you could uh, write uh, a regular expression to look for four digits, a dash, two digits, a dash, followed by two digits, to check if, for example, a data, a, a date variable in an SCTM dataset is a complete date and in ISO format before uh, deciding to convert uh, this uh, text into a SAS date. Let's have now a quick look at some cool stuff added to the SAS macro language. The first one is relatively new as it can become available with one of the latest maintenance, the SAS 9.4 maintenance file. And as I mentioned at the beginning, depending on your company policy with regards to software update, it could be that you have earlier version installed at your site and therefore this functionality might not work. Uh, this is about the ability of running the if uh, then macro statement in an open code. So outside the macro man wrapper. Uh, this could be uh, very useful in situation like where you want your SAS code to be conditionally or dynamically executed, depending on the occurrence of a specific, uh, let me say, event. Like the example in this slide, where before making the proc means, I wanted to make sure the dataset ADLB exists, uh, for example, a, a previous part of a code maybe ended with an error and therefore the LB not generated. There are well, a few limitations. For example, your if, your macro if then must be followed by uh, the macro do and, the macro do, blo do and block, uh, for a statement that you want to conditionally execute. And the same is true for uh, any statements that follow the optional uh, macro else branch of the condition. And also, you can have, you can't have any uh, nesting of multiple if then constructs. If you need that flexibility, of course, you can do that within uh, the, the, the classic uh, macro main uh, wrapper.
Another interesting improvement in such macro is the availability of the Boolean operator. For example, assume you want to check in your macro if the user has correctly specified a required parameter, meaning that the selected parameter has a valid and expected value. Before SAS9, you will need to check each individual possible value with an OR operator. Starting with SAS9, you can make now use of the IN operator and therefore shorten uh, and simplify your code. The last feature introduced uh, in SAS9 I want to quickly cover and more um, precisely it was introduced, introduced with SAS9.3 and maintenance 2 is the uh, two sub uh, function. Uh, this is a very powerful addition and it makes possible the execution of a, of a SAS code on the side. Uh, so while your data step is still running. Uh, the SAS statement uh, are, are executed immediately, which makes uh, a big difference from the traditional uh, call execute. So with the do sub, now you can develop uh, function style macros, macro that can be used uh, uh, within a SAS statement. That make uh, you, that this this uh, macro also make use of uh, uh, data and proc step, and not only macro statement. Uh, this is something that previously was either um, impossible or extremely difficult to to implement. Again, let's see this with uh, uh, more detail with uh, an example. Uh, let's uh, consider a situation where we want to create a data set containing some uh, summary statistics, for example, the rate, the percentage of something. In this case, the occurrence of a specific event under uh, different conditions. For example, the clinical trial arm and the study population assigned. I uh, would need uh, uh, two macro, uh, one for extracting the denominator and one for extracting the, denumer the, the, the numerator. Uh, for example, the occurrence of, as I said before, a specific uh, uh, condition. Uh, the do sub uh, syntax in this instance, uh, in this syntax when used in a SAS macro, it's, uh, it's simply the, the call of the sub uh, uh, function. Uh, followed by a combination of a SAS code, uh, either macro function or data and uh, and uh, um, and talk steps. The code of the two macro uh, include the uh, code, uh, code to the proc SQL, and both they return a specific uh, uh, parameter, a macro parameter, uh, respect respectively the denominator and the numerator. I would then call uh, the two macros several times to build my uh, event pop dataset that will contain one record per each level of summarization. The PCT variable will contain the proportion or the percentage of subjects having the that event on each specific uh, subset. The variable containing the percentage will need first to get the number of subjects with that particular condition, for example, number of subjects dying in the treatment heart in all population. And then the denominator on which the percentage will be uh, calculated. You can note that uh, the call of the two macros is equivalent to call two separate PROC SQL per uh, percentage cal calculation. And this is why the data step is still running. The result of the uh, two proc SQL from each of the two macro call is then given back to the data step to complete the calculation of the PCT variable. The resulting data set will have one record per each study arm, uh, per each study population, as I mentioned earlier. Pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, to conclude the selection of my preferred SAS 9 uh, enrichment or enrichments, I'd like to mention that now there are several alternatives to macro that uh, give you the possibility to, to choose uh, among uh, more advanced technology for problem solving and data manipulation. I listed here some of these technology and again, some good papers if you want to, to know more.
reaching the end of my presentation. And there are, of course, many other enhancements which I, of course, could not cover in my presentation today due to time limitation. Uh, for example, in mind all the new ODS uh, destination and functionality added in SAS 9, uh, together with ODS graphics, all the improved uh, um, integration with the uh, Microsoft Office application, and of course, the many new or improved uh, procedure. But for some of these um, enhancements and other, stay tuned and wait for my uh, paper to be to be available. Meanwhile, see here uh, some cool references. I uh, also using my selection of the most interesting improvements by SAS with uh, uh, version nine. And with that, I, that's the end of my first SAS global forum, SAS global forum presentation. And I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, feel free to contact me if you have any any question. Bye.